Hey there, this is Michael Erdman, and I just wanted to show you exactly how to use the articles that we've provided to you through your membership in order to cut and paste them directly into your blog website and get a, a post set up correctly. So this will uh, take a few minutes, and we're working with this post right here, 2015 in kitchen design. Uh, so this is something that's definitely um, about home ownership, something that people would be interested in seeing and potentially clicking on, especially as it goes out to those social media networks, and that leads them back to your website. So um, what you want to do is just uh, you start out uh, creating a new post. So once you log in to your WordPress website or your other website, whatever you're going to post the content into, but we recommend WordPress-based websites. That's what we build at MySmartBlog.com. And, um, and so then you would just click on this little plus sign. It has new and you can go right here to new post or you can go to the sidebar and it says posts and you can go to add new either one of those but I'm gonna go up here click uh, new post and that's gonna pop up a uh, new post window that you can start creating your post in and um, one quick note if you don't see all of these tools this thing's called the uh, toolbar and so you can turn it on and off so you, if you don't see all those tools you can just click that and it'll open up these other tools as well so what makes WordPress so easy to use is you have all these tools just like a word editor so what we want to do is we want to take uh, again our piece of content and the way we deliver these is in uh, Microsoft Word type files so they're super easy to work with you just uh, just highlight the piece you want to copy in this case this is the title so we'll uh, I'll copy this out of here I'll just right click and uh, click copy and move that out of the way and we're gonna put that right here in the title area so we'll paste that so uh, you can change the title to be whatever it is you want it to be. You can maybe you know, come, come up with something you think is more clickable if you'd like, but I'll just use this one for now. And then I'm going to go right down here into the content box. And what you're going to see is that uh, WordPress automatically creates the uh, long URL that has all of the keywords in it as well. So you can think about that when you're creating a title. Um, those, uh, the title of the article many times will have keywords of uh, what the article is about. That will help you in your search engine optimization. And then also the category, it inserted automatically a category here, but I'm going to check blogging because that's the category I really want it to use. And, uh, and then um, when I do that, I'm going to click Save Draft. And this just saves a version of it to the degree that we're already in pr process. What you'll notice is that changed right here. It changed the actual category. The reason you use categories down the road, you can adjust the content, uh, the way it's displayed based on like pages that have certain groups of, of uh, content. So then, again, the easy thing to do here is just take... Uh, I'm going to bring this back over. We're just going to highlight again the rest of the content in this uh, pre-written article for you. And I copied that. I'm going to go ahead and paste that right into the WordPress dashboard. Now, one of the updates they did on WordPress lets you copy and paste things right from Word without uh, the formatting carrying through. So that's really great. Uh, when these are written, they're already uh, formatted well with paragraphs. But what I like to do is in the headings, I like to make those bold. So just to make it look a little bit better, so I'm going to go to each one of these paragraph headings and click the bold, just like that. Okay, so that takes care of that piece of it. And then the other thing that I want to do is um, I like to go ahead and get rid of that little bit of space at the top if there is any. It doesn't look like there is on this one. So uh, I want to be able to add an image. And, um, and so you can, you know, you want to be able to go get an image um, in, our, in our automated service that we automatically publish content into your website. We, uh, we include the copyright free images. Uh, but uh, you'll want to be able to add an image because it always makes it look better if you have a relevant image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add Media. And it's going to pull up a media folder, but what I want to do is I'm going to upload uh, 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 an image from my website. So I'm going to go back over here and grab an image. And so what you'll see is I'm just going over, I've got this other, uh, move this into the frame that we're recording. So I just saved this image. I'm just going to take it and drag it over and drop it in. And it's going to upload it into my media folder. And then it gives me a few options. Now, a couple of things you want to take note of is that you want to be able to publish, even if you change the site in the actual, uh, change the size in the blog post, you want to have it at least 600 pixels wide. And the reason for that is if you share it to social media, you'll get in the social, in the Facebook timeline, for instance, or the newsfeed, it'll show that big full width image, which is always a lot more clickable than the little tiny image with the text on the side. So as long as it's at least 600 pixels wide, you do that. Um, and then what you want to do here is insert it into the post. So you can have it do a couple of different things. Usually you don't want it to link to anything. So I'll just take, say none on this. I don't want it to link to anything. And I'm going to insert it in the full, uh, full size. And then I'll show you how to resize it once it's in there. And so that takes care of that piece. Uh, so we just go ahead and insert it. It automatically drops the post in, so it into the post. So you can leave it full size if you want, just like that. 
but it also has a few other options for your layout. It makes it real easy to do and I think looks a little bit better. Um, so if you take this, you can just click this, um, it, this. I always like to align it on the right side, so I click align right, that'll move it to the right side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab the handles here and I'm actually gonna make it smaller so it looks a little bit better within the context of the blog post. So what you'll see is that the content starts to wrap around the image. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller again, so change the way it looks in the blog post itself. And, um, and, and whatever size you like, but, the, but again, when this is indexed uh, by the search engines and by, uh, if you share it to social media, it will still see the full size image there. So uh, once that's done, you can go down, you can type in some tags. So this would be things like kitchen update, home renovation, uh, those types of things. Uh, you could type in real estate as a tag. Tags just help sort the content. Uh, they are picked up by, again, the search engine spiders as well. And um, you could actually, if you want, you can set a featured image as well if your theme provides for that. But for right now, we're not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to take care of that and I'm going to click publish. Now what's going to happen is this actually moves this right out to the front of the website. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So once that's published, if I go into just view post here, it'll take me out to the front of the website right on that particular post. And I can just take a look at it, exactly what it looks like to anyone else who comes to the blog. So again, lays out pretty nicely. All we did was cut and paste that in. Real simple to do. There's a free ebook if you want to go to the post on our blog. I'll put the link here. You can download our free ebook that has all kinds of tips and tricks on how you can get more leads in your uh, real estate business as well. Uh, you'll find that all, all you know all over uh, a lot of our, our websites and marketing stuff. But again, that's how easy it is to cut and paste one of these in. You publish it, and then you can go ahead and share it to your social media with a link back to your website. And that's the way you start driving traffic and building top of mind awareness in your local market. So again, thanks so much. We look forward to serving you and uh, helping you with it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can get us right through the realtyblogcontent.com website or mysmartblog.com. Either one. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.